<laughs> hey, guess who's coming over? <laughs> what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So for those of you who follow us, you probably remember a video we posted about two weeks ago, a day with NSX. But before I get ahead of myself and not ruin it for the people that are new, let's go back in time two weeks. So two good things happening today. One, we are going to participate in another Toys for Tots event. That's why we got Mr. Thick ready. And then we are also getting to get a sneak peek at Pat's new NSX that he bought. Um, if you guys don't follow Pat, he had an i8. Well, he still has the i8, uh, but he added a supercar. He's expanded his garage to the supercar realm of vehicles. So he's added the NSX. I cannot wait to see it. I've seen pictures of it and it looks sweet. I can't wait to show you guys and hopefully I get to drive it. Fingers crossed. Nope. All right, so now that that's out of the way, for those of you who are new, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss any more videos. So I'm super excited to test drive this NSX. He should be here shortly. It is a hybrid four bat, just like the i8. And I think it would fit him very well. And after he did some research, he decided to buy one. And I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm a huge fan of NSX. Uh, also the late models ones as well, and they do hold their value. Let's get outside and see if he is here yet. Howdy, sir. What's up? <laughs> What's up? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Isn't it? I think it's a terrific day. And the BMW is back home, got new shoes on her. She is Maryland inspected, ready to go. She's gonna find a new home here shortly. We'll keep you guys updated, but here she is. The Acura NSX, and there is her proud owner, Pat. Oh, what's up, Pat? Good to see you, man. Nice to see you. I got a key here with your name written all over it. Let's do this. All right, man. 2017 NSX. She is sweet. Like I said before, I love the old models as well, but they did a really nice job on these new ones. For all of you who are new and don't know them, for those who have subscribed, they know exactly who Pat is. <laughs> Check out the inside, check out this trim. Look at that, all the, what do you call that? Alloy, aluminum look, the seats. What kind of fabric is it? It's not suede, what, what's the? It is, it's Alcantara suede. Alcantara, that's, what, that's the word I was looking for. What do you guys think? Put in the comments down below. There's so much carbon fiber on this car and this is all the dry carbon fiber. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Carbon, not dry carbon, carbon. Even the rotors are carbon. Just a brief little tour. I'll get inside, show you start up in the back here. You got a speaker here, a GoPro there, <laughs> a speaker here in the middle, and yep, another speaker on the other side of the passenger. Great lines, not much space for storage, but you do have an area here, here, and a small little center console back here. Has some room, Got some, has some good storage in the trunk. You can fit a Jeff in it. All right, here we go. We got Jeff, get exhausted. Good friend of mine, check him out. Link in the description below, right? He thinks that he could fit in the back of everything. <laughs> oh, he's in there! So the 2017 NSX is a hybrid format, like I was saying earlier, and it is 500 horsepower, and the hybrid is 73, I believe. That's correct, yep, 73. So total of 573 horsepower. And the torque in the upper 400s, I think, what, 475, 480, something like that. <laughs> I gotta Google it. <laughs> He's gotta Google it. Do you still have the sticker in here, this price? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Well, they laminated it too. They laminated it yeah. for you. All right, there's the price before the added options. $200,000. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had it, Pat? Oh, um, how long has it been now? Maybe a month now? Almost a month. Yeah, yeah almost a month. Are you enjoying it so far? I like it. I, I really do like it. And I think it, it had to grow on me because I didn't, this wouldn't have been my first choice. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I made this as a first choice because, yeah. you know, after this now, it sets the bar. 
It, it's got more torque than the I-8 because the I-8, we had what, 455 wheel mm -hmm. when we were up at uh, Castle. And uh, this is higher and you could feel that it's higher. Mm -hmm. So now what am I gonna do next? You know, I gotta go like 911 Turbo S. You know, mm -hmm. or, or what? I don't know. <laughs> Aventador. Huracan. <laughs> well, actually, he did go to the track down at Potomac. That was down at Potomac Raceway, right? Uh, Dominion. Dominion. Dominion Raceway. And he did beat a Huracan and an Audi R8 V10 with the NSX. So I'll put a link in the description below. Check it out. It's on Pat's channel. All right. So we are in the car and we're going to start it up. Love the graphics, all uh, digital. All right, so what we have here, you have your control, your dynamic mode, I guess that's for like sport. I love the flat. Uh, sport so Plus. Good. Switch the mode uh, back and forth. Mm -hmm. So you're in Sport Plus right now. Once you go into Sport, it's gonna act as an EV and you'll see the EV light light up there. Yep. And you could go one more and you're in quiet mode now. So it's gonna try to use electric as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So what normally I do is I usually keep it in Sport Plus and the engine will run all the time. Gotcha. He's like, what kind of car is that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the mirrors are placed perfectly. The the rear view mirror, I mean, you can see everything in the back. I can see these kids in the Subaru pointing at the car <laughs> and admiring it. kid again <laughs> now when you do dial it down to the quiet mode mm -hmm. I would do that real quick just take it down to quiet mode so you want to go left on that dial so it puts you in sport and put one more there you go now you're in quiet mode so at this point you're gonna be in between EV mm -hmm. for uh, the hybrid mm -hmm. and motor so as you slow down it's gonna turn that engine off and as you speed up it'll turn that engine on but you also have mufflers so the valves now kick in hmm look at that it feels like I'm in the I-8 now. Yep. So, sound wise. And there it goes, kicks back on. And your throttle response is less as, as, as it was in uh, Sport Plus. Right. But your steering is also, you have less feedback, it's more, uh, more assisted. Mm -hmm. So it is more comfortable to drive over Sport Plus, but do lose a little bit of that. Yeah, it defeats the purpose of it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if, you're, if you're stuck in traffic, then yeah. It's perfect yeah. for that. So I'm in a race mode. That just, you know, the, the track mode, that just turns off um, traction control. And it will also keep you higher in the revs. So okay. if you're if you're driving along, let's say, a 4,000 RPM, I think it'll actually stick there for quite a while, waiting, because it wants to give you the highest amount of boost you can possibly get. Okay. So even though the electric mode will fill in for the lack of boost, and especially down low, um, it definitely wants to make sure that you have the most available to you in race mode or track mode. So you went out with a C8 Corvette owner. Justin from Horsepower Obsessed, how did you compare it? Because you got to drive the C8 too, right? Yeah, I got to drive the C8 and this is a completely different car. You can't really compare the two. 
I think you need to have both cars in the garage if you're going to own one or the other. If you want this kind of performance and the feeling of it being in a supercar, that's what you're definitely going to want the C8 for. Or, I'm sorry, you're going to want the NSX for that. Mm -hmm. But in the C8, it's definitely more of a uh, touring car, I feel. And he even feels the same way. It's really comfortable. It definitely wants to help you throughout the driving process and in a good way. It doesn't feel like a nanny where it's trying to slow you down. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you're going around a turn. We'll just make sure this turn happens perfectly. And whether you're on the gas or on the brake, it just it just goes. It was like almost like a a go-kart. Like the, yes. the responsiveness. Yes. <laughs> that is a good description, absolutely. Like a really fast go-kart. <laughs> yep. You guys have the chance of test driving one do it all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i know i did that car is awesome i love it thank you very much you got it man <laughs> you the man if you guys like to see more on the nsx or the i8 because pat has both check them out i'll put a link in the description below so if you are new make sure you do subscribe smash that like button and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you never miss a video we will see you in the next one Sounds good.